Good morning, Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? This is your teacher, Ms. Mark Faz, and today we are going to start the science chapter, chapter number 12 revision that is forces and simple machine. But before that, let me tell you the yesterday test was not so good, and most of the girls have not submitted me the time test in a proper time, so that is why I have considered them absent. Okay, so starting from here, first of all, you have to open up your books, page number 92. Have you opened it? very good now this this is how your page number 92 looks like and uh, this is the chapter number 12 forces and simple machine as you can see in the uh, name of the chapter you are uh, you are going to easily say that what we are going to uh, read in this chapter we are going to read forces we are going to know about what are forces how forces created how and how they affect our lives and then we are going to know about simple machines and how those simple machines are going to make our work easier okay so starting from the reading first of all you have to as you have opened your notebook sorry book you have to do the reading with me i'm starting from here the first paragraph we push and pull many things every day we pull a drawer to open it we push to close it we push a cricket ball over our bat and we pull a book toward ourselves if we want to pick it up. Can you think of some of other example of pushing and pull? Yes, girls. Any of you? Can you think any of the example of this? What are these children doing? Look at this in the picture below. What are they doing? Half of the children are pushing the rope toward themselves while the other half are pushing them. To, uh, pulling them toward themselves so both of them are pulling the rope okay they are pulling the other uh, rope and what is pulling pulling is to make something closer to you to drag something toward you to make it closer okay but in this picture you can see the girl is uh, running with the dog she you can see the dog is running forward and with the help of this band he is attached with uh, uh, with the, she, the girl is holding her in her hands and as the dog is running he is pushing the uh, uh, girl with pulling the girl with him so the dog is dragging the girl toward herself okay to drag the things toward yourself is called as pulling and to put something away from you to press something away from you is called as pushing okay so we do push and pull in our daily routine like for example we pick up a remote we push uh, we pull a remote okay and whenever you close the door of a cabinet or a cupboard or a room or you close the window we usually push the doors to close them okay but there are some of the doors which are usually written with the push or pull that how to open them in the markets or in some of the shops you have seen that the doors are written with push or pull it means they are telling you that how you can open the door you can push the door to open it or you can pull the door to open it okay so these are two actions which are actually the forms you are using to put the to put your force okay so simply we can say that a push and a pull are forces okay a push or a pull are forces a force can do many things it makes an object move it can slow down or stop a moving object and it can also change the direction of the object you can see it here in these three pictures first of all Look at this picture. The boy is pushing the sofa. But as you can see, before the boy pushed the sofa, was it moving? Have you ever seen a sofa moving by itself? No. The sofa cannot move by itself unless we put any of the force to it. We push it. Okay? And as we push it, the thing will move the sofa will move in the direction of the force now what is this the direction of force the boy is pushing the sofa in this direction this is the direction of force now so that is why the sofa is moving in this direction okay similarly you can see in this picture the boy is kicking the football 
so the football was stationary was placing on the uh, floor and it was not moving it was just still uh, unless the boy kick it and as the boy kick it he pushes the football and the football moves in the direction of his push as he is pushing as he is um, uh, putting his force okay now here the goalkeeper is holding the or try to stop the football right he is trying to stop the football what he is actually doing he is pushing the football he is pushing the football so that the ball could not come inside the goal so he is also using a, a form of force to stop it okay to stop it in the cricket match you usually seen that the batsman hits the ball with its bat what he is doing he is doing the he is using a, his force to change the direction of the ball as you can see the ball can come from this side and as the ball hit the bat it changes in the def different direction and go through sometimes out of the boundaries also right so this is what happened actually the batman hit the ball and it changes the direction of the ball so we can say a force can move an object can stop an object and can change the direction of the object next we have types of forces there are many types of forces but in your class at your level we are going to discuss about only two types of forces which are gravity and friction gravity and friction gravity is very common very known force of attraction we know about this i hope most of you have already listened about this that um, have you observed the things are always falling down always the apple falling from a tree always fell down the ball you throw into the air is also coming back to the floor in fact the book from your shelf or any of the cloth fall down to the earth why this happens have you observed that girls what is actually happening have you observed let's find out after reading this paragraph if we throw something up it comes down why doesn't it keep going up like if you throw a ball into the air why it come back it should go away and into the space now because you are pushing it this is because of a force we call it a gravity which pulls everything down so we can say gravity pulls everything down now what is gravity gravity is a force by which things are attracted attracted means coming closer attracted toward the earth so gravity is a force through which things attracts toward the earth we are able to stand on the ground because of the gravity as the gravity attracts everything toward itself that is why we are standing on to the earth if we are went to the moon there is no earth's gravity that is why the people or the astronauts who visited the moon they usually float in air they cannot stand properly they cannot walk properly in fact they hop hop onto it because there is no force of gravity to attract them to hold them tightly onto the ground okay if there was no gravity we would be floating in the air just like i have told you the astronauts which are usually went into the space they float into the air here we have the next type of friction uh, sorry force that is friction now what is friction before i tell you what is friction let me tell you have you observed whenever you roll a ball look at this picture the girl is rolling a ball into a, onto a smooth surface and then onto a rough surface like ground okay when you roll a ball they will move or they will cover a large distance on a smooth surface as compared to a rough surface why this happens this happens due to the force of friction okay first of all all of you i want you to do this activity by yourself rub your hands all of you rub your hands as fast as you can are you rubbing it now stop it 
and put your feet sorry put your palms onto your cheeks what you feel what you observe yes you are observing the heat can you feel it this heat is actually the result of the rubbing which you were doing between your both hands what actually happens the hands are the two moving objects and they are rubbing together they are striking together and their strike is called as friction okay and this friction is creating amount of heat which you can feel when you put your palm onto your cheeks okay isn't it interesting now let's read this paragraph to get a detailed explanation when we roll a ball onto the ground it slow down and stops this is because of our friction the ball we go further in a smooth surface than on a rough surface this is because of force of friction is more on rough surface and it is less on the smooth surface now let's do another experiment to uh, to verify or to know about this line that surface uh, uh, friction is less on the smooth surface and more on the rough surface as you were rubbing your hand you can feel that there were more heat it means there are there is more friction now apply some lotion onto your hands are you applying it now rub your hands are you rubbing now you can feel this as you are rubbing your hands the rubbing is more easy the rubbing is more fluent and you can also see the rubbing is not creating much heat this time it means there is no much or there is less friction now that is why there is less heat producing by your rub okay so this proves that there when the surface is smooth when you add lubricant or lotion to your hand your hand surface becomes smooth and that is why your hand movement is more easy as compared to the dry hands we can walk on the ground because of the friction it stops us from sl uh, slipping we have to try, we, uh, have you tried to walk on ice why is it is difficult it is being very smooth this is why a very little friction and you slip and you fell down onto the ice now we are get coming to a new terminology in this page that is work now what is work what is work all those things you are usually doing are not work girls okay they are different form of forces you are applying but all force applyment is not work okay now what is work now let's discuss it it in this paragraph when we use force to do something we do work when we pull a door to open it we do a work when we push a trolley to move it we do a work as well when we kick a football to move it we do a work and it means when we use force to do something our work is done what is work to use a force to do something like if a person is moving a bicycle he is pushing the pedals that is why the bicycle is moving in the direction of force and we are saying you are doing the work there are some of the machines which make our work easier we are coming to this terminology that we call as simple machine machines are things that can make our work easier many of them reduce the need to do work a car is a simple machine it has many is a, a car is also a machine it has many parts some machines have very few parts and we call them as simple machine but the car is not a simple machine okay it is just a machine it is a complex machine because it have more parts we are saying that machines with very few parts are called as simple machine so let us see the pictures to get the detail explanation about the simple machines you can do this easily look at this these are some of the uh, acts or some of the works you cannot do easily can you push a rock with your hand can you pull out the water with a simple rod sorry with a simple thread or a rope or you can easily lift up a heavy load and put it inside the truck 
you think these are easy things no these are so much difficult because you need a lot of amount of force to do that so that is why we are using some different machines with only few parts which help us to do this work very easily look at in this other pictures on your left hand side on your right hand side using a lever to move a boulder what is a lever this is you can see this rod it is just helping to push a pull uh, push the rock aside so this is a simple machine it is just a rod we are using it in this way that it is lifting the heavy objects so we call it as lever similarly the girl who were, who were using the rope and the pot for taking out the water from the well was so difficult she uses she just uses a wheel a moving wheel onto which she arrange the rope and as the rope is moving onto the moving wheel the uh, the pot is easily going inside the well to take out the water from the well so we can say using a pulley to pull water from a well is also the use of a simple machine using an inclined plane now what is inclined plane you can see this is a slope the there is a slope with the truck and the boy is just pushing it onto the slope and easily he is he can easily load a truck with heavy very heavy objects so using an inclined plane to load a truck is also an example of simple machine cranes are used the pulley to lift heavy load you can see this is a crane this is a rope and here there are some different sizes of pulleys and different number of pulleys which uses the uh, rope to take the uh, take uh, to pull or to lift the heavy loads so pulley also use the sorry cranes also use the pulley arrangement to lift the heavy loads the game you usually the uh, the seesaw which you usually have in the parks this is also an example of simple machine that we call as lever that's it for the reading girls i hope you understand this very well now coming to your book back exercise open book page number 96 have you open this is how your book page look like first of all we are going to do the first exercise that is true false you also have to give the reason for the false one number one a thing sorry things grown up will come down things thrown up uh, will come down if there is no gravity this is true or false this is this is true things come down only because of gravity this is true here it is written false this is wrong this is true number b work is done whenever a force is applied this is true or false yes this is true a car is a simple machine this is true or false if you remember i have told you that the car is yes a car is not a simple machine because it is uh, having uh, not uh, it does not have few parts it have many parts so it is a complex machine so we will write a car is not a simple machine because it has many parts number d it is easy to walk on ice as we have done the reading in the reading i have told you it is not easy to run uh, walk on the ice because there is have you remember yes because there is more uh, less number of friction uh, and the surface is smooth the ice is smooth that is why there is more uh, less friction and so that is why we cannot walk on it it is not easy to walk on an ice because it has less friction less friction okay this is the main point the key point now we have exercise number two name these number one a push or a pull what do we call a push or pull as we could we call it as a force very good excellent number two it stops you from floating into the air what is the thing that stop you from floating the air yes very good the, the answer is gravity number c they make your work easier which are the things which make our work easier yes the answer is machines 
a machine consisting of a wheel with a rope around it is called a pulley okay it is called as a pulley a machine consisting of a rod with a spot if you remember we use a rod with a spot to lift the uh, rock that was a lever excellent that was a lever now number 3 what can a force do you will tell me what can a force do a force can move an object stop a moving object and it can also change the direction of the object okay that's it for the back exercise you have to do this on your book page number 96 now let's start the question answers first of all here we have the first question what is meant by force as i have told you that a uh, force is a push or a pull so a push moves it away what is a push a uh, to move away something from you and a pull is something that you move things closer to you okay as you things move away from you away means away means push and move closer move closer means pull so a push or a pull is called as force and in this picture can you tell me what the man is doing is he pushing or pulling the uh, door he is very good he is pushing the door and in this picture he is pulling or pushing the door he is pulling the door uh, the door toward himself so here we have a very simple activity you have to uh, you just have to uh, as we are not attending the class but here you have to do this activity at your home you have to decide what you are going to do with your friends that uh, ask your friend to in a room stand in a room and ask your friend to do push any push any five objects which need to be pushed and you will do pull you will pull any five objects in the room like you can close a door to push it you can kick a ball to push it or you can screw any any nut to push it okay so in this way you will have to play a game between you this is very interesting activity you can play with your class fellows if you have have anyone around you or you can also play with your family fr friends or your elder brother or sister or any sibling okay so this is so fun do must try this at home now we have the next question what can a force do i have told you uh, that force can do three major things but before i tell you that let me tell you how a force helps look at this car you can see the car is stopped and uh, unless the the boy stand behind it only the standing of a boy behind the car is not helping the car to move right so the boy pushes the car to move it so the push actually is the force and the car move in the direction of this force with the uh, man is pushing it similarly look at this picture below the girls to the, there are two girls can you tell who is pushing whom no similarly in the other picture you can see two girls are pulling each other can you tell who is pulling whom no we cannot differentiate because their push and their pull are uh, because their push and their pull are at same level they are pushing each other with same same force they are pulling each other with the same force that is why we cannot see who is using more force but here in this picture the last picture you can see the bull is uh, pulling the man okay the bull is pulling the man because the bull is pu uh, putting uh, pulling the man he is taking the man with him that is why he is using his force to pull to drag or to come closer to make the man closer to him so we are saying that the power or the force of cow is more as compared to man sorry bull is more as compared to the man so now in the previous picture we have seen that how a force is helping to move the stationary objects now we also have to know that uh, the um, force help us to Uh, uh move the objects it help us to stop the objects or it can also help us to change the direction of the objects so a push or a pull on an object is called as force 
and it can change the state or the rest state of rest of the object this was i was telling you just now but with the help of example of car and man it can also change the size and body of the object this is new for you you do not know about this force applied by a hand on a dough changes its shape if you remember when your mama is using to knit the dough so she is applying her force to change the shape of the flour into a dough so she is applying the force she is pushing so that is why she is applying the force and changing the shape of the dough similarly force changes the size of a rubber band if you pull the rubber band the size of the rubber band changes so we can say the force can change size and shape of the object okay our next question is what is meant by work i have just told you work is said to be done only when force act on an object and displace it or make it move so anything anything which is using force uh, anyone who is using his force to move the object the main thing is to make it move or displace to move an object in the direction of force is called as work no work is done if force is applied but no displacement means no distance is traveling the no distance is covering if you are not covering any distance you are not doing any work like in this picture you can see the girl is just pulling the uh, chair but it's not covering the distance it means she is not doing any work but in the other picture you can see a ball uh, uh, work is done on the ball by a batsman as he hit the ball the ball uh, moves and changes its direction and it covers the distance it also covers the distance so the boy the man actually do the work onto the batman uh, onto the ball okay here on your right side you can see there are two boxes placed holding the box requires uh, uh, requires before but no work just if you are holding a box if you are just holding a box it means you are not putting any force you are not taking the uh, uh, box to any distance so that is why the work is not done here but in the other picture you ra raise the box it means you are putting any effort and the, you are using uh, you are changing the direction and you are making the box move so you are doing the work now we have an interesting activity you have to tell me that uh, these three situation in the following three situation the work is done or not the first one is launching a space rocket number 2 student push against a wall and a batsman carrying a heavy parcel sorry postman carrying a heavy parcel on a level ground okay you will tell me they are doing any work or not in first one the rocket is going up into the space so the launching pad is pushing it is pushing it and the rocket is covering a distance from the rocket pad to the space so the, this is a work done okay but the student pushing a wall the the student push the wall but the wall does not covers any distance it does not changes its direction so the the boy is not doing any work just to pull the wall just to push the wall there will be no work okay and in the last situation a postman is just carrying a heavy parcel and he is not taking it anywhere just holding it so he is not applying any force he is not taking it anywhere so it is not covering any distance that is why this is also no work there is no work in it the uh, now we have question number 5 4 what is meant by force of gravity and how it is important to us this is the last question for gravity is a force that pulls objects toward the center of the earth as you can see the earth is pulling everything toward its center and we are living at the edges of the earth so that is why we can easily stand onto the earth the uh, gravity of the earth pull everything toward itself the earth gravity is what keep us stand onto the ground 
gravity pulls the water downward and it also helps to fall the fruits and the necessary things to back onto the ground okay this was the importance of gravity that's it for today girls you have to do this work uh, the back exercise onto your book page number 105 and you have to do the short question answers and extensive question answers onto your notebooks you have to do the work in neat handwriting as i have explained you in the video and you, you can you have to send your work on to uh, uh, my personal number for checking you can ask any of the question if you want to in the comment section and you can also ask at my personal number as well and uh, that's it for today girls see you tomorrow inshallah Allah is from your teacher miss maro thank you very much